This crab was about to drown. The girl saw the crab and saved it and carefully put it on the wooden board. However, the crab was so human that it wiggled his head from side to side to express its gratitude. Melissa thought the little guy was so cute that she decided to make him a pet. But she didn't know how to feed the crab, so she went home and asked her father. But her father was too busy doing experiments to pay attention to her. Melissa picked the fruit from the tree and fed it to the crab while her father was away. The crab ate it with great pleasure, and Melissa was happy to see it. The crab even thanked her after eating it. One day later, my father found the experiment missing. At the same time, my mother was preparing to do the laundry when she accidentally found the giant crab. The father was startled by the sound of screaming, causing him to accidentally spill the chemical. He didn't have time to clean up before rushing to see what was going on outside. The father saw the giant crab and realized that the crab had eaten the fruit of the experiment and wanted to take it back to study. The crab saw this and fled in a hurry. It came to the girl and continued to eat the fruit of the experiment. Just then the spilled medicine caused a chemical reaction that caused a violent explosion. Melissa was orphaned by the accident and has lived with the crab ever since. Ten years have passed and the girl has grown up. The little crab has grown into a giant crab. Now Melissa is unable to feed him, so she leaves the crab to fend for itself. But the crab went to a nearby farm and poked a hole with its big pincers. Then he grabbed a cow. When the farmer arrived the next day, he found a puddle of blood on the ground. The house of the farm was broken a big hole. Not far away, there was a cow bone. It didn't take long for the police to arrive at the scene. They found unidentified footprints in a huge tooth. The police had never seen this scene before, even in 10 years of working on the case. So they had to call in biologist Huggins to help. He took out his equipment and measured it, and based on the footprints on the ground, he decided it was a crab. So he followed the footprints all the way. It didn't take Huggins long to see the amazing sight. There were many strange eggs on the ground, which meant that this was not simple. The man rushed to take a picture of the strange eggs with his cell phone to report to the organization. But when he looked up, he was shocked. There was actually a crab shell bigger than a truck. The man trembled and went up to check it out. Took out a ruler and measured it. One pincer is two meters long. This crab is no ordinary creature. Just as he was about to call for help, suddenly a shotgun was pointed at Huggins. Mo warned that this was her territory. She tells Huggins to get out of the way or he'll get shot. Huggins was so scared that he ran away. Soon it's night time. A beautiful woman in stockings accidentally breaks her foot while walking. The bald guy pulls up next to her and offers to take him home. Daisy was also bold enough to get into the car directly. However, the man drove the car into the woods and started to assault her. Daisy was very angry and slapped him in the face. Then she got out of the car and ran away. When the man saw his prey running away, he rushed after him but unfortunately tripped and fell on the way. Then he saw a crab that was bigger than a basin. Before he could react, he became the crab's dinner. Daisy was so frightened that she ran to the side of the road with a pale face. A man passed by and got him into his car. Daisy told him what had just happened and told him to drive away. But the man thought she was joking. He also drove the crab walking on the road and crushed it to death. Just as the man was having a good time, suddenly a giant crab appeared in front of the car and blocked the middle of the road. The man hurriedly slammed on the brakes. This time he finally came to his senses. Then he backed up and pulled away from the giant crab. Then he stepped on the gas and rushed past. He dodged the fatal blow and managed to escape. The giant crab looked at the crushed child and let out a hiss of rage. And the two of them came to the bar and told the people about the crab's injury. Everyone thinks they're crazy. Huggins, who was drinking, heard about this and remembered the crab shells he had seen a while back. So he asked the man to lead the way to find the giant crab. The two men arrive at the grove, just in time to see the giant crab laying eggs. Does anyone know how a giant crab gets pregnant? The crab lays its eggs and then turns around and leaves. Just then Mo appeared with a shotgun. This crab egg is bigger than a basin. Mo did not say anything and shot the egg. Suddenly there was a distant hissing sound. Seeing the broken eggs on the ground, the giant crab was so angry that it directly clamped Mo's hand with its pincers and made her understand the principle of live and let live. Mo was so scared that she fled back to the house, but the giant crab couldn't let her go. He raises his pincers and quickly demolishes the house. It reached out and grabbed Mo and left her breathless. It didn't take long for the police to arrive on the scene. They followed the footprints all the way to the house but found a girl with a gun. The police thought she was suspicious and decided to take her back to the station for investigation. But they didn't know how dangerous it would be to do so. The giant crab in the house was furious. It came ashore and blocked the way of the car. The policeman was so scared 
that he abandoned the car and climbed up a small hill. He thought it would be safe, but the crab climbed the hill easily with its eight legs. In a short time, the police officers lost his breath. He then went back to the car and used pliers to cut Melissa's handcuffs off. He angrily tore the car apart, and he took Melissa and left with her. Investigators came to find out what happened and found that his partner had died. So they contacted headquarters directly to send a tank to deal with the giant crowd. But Melissa fought back hard. Huggins saw the situation and immediately jumped to save the woman. Then the group immediately began to attack the crab, although the crab was unharmed by knives and guns. But it could not withstand the fierce firepower and had to hide in the lake. The police had to call in the fighter jets. Melissa was very sad to learn the news. She told her story with the crab. Huggins was touched by the story and decided to help her. They sank the crab shells to the bottom of the lake. After the fighters finished bombing the lake, the people saw the crab shells on the surface of the lake and thought the giant crab was dead. Then they cheered happily, but they didn't realize that the real giant crab was having a good time. Do you want a crab pet like this?